Hi guys, it's Kelly Lenable here and I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be using two stamp sets. This is from Gina Kay's uh, June 2020 release. This is the Baby Boy and Baby Girl set. So we are going to be making two different cards today using a combination of these products. I just thought it would be kind of fun to make a feminine and a masculine card. Now I did use sentiments for um, babies, but you could certainly swap out these designs for really just any other something that you had going on in your life that you wanted to make a card for. Um, before we get too far into the video, I do just want to mention, because um, we all love a good sale, uh, Simon Says Stamp, who does carry Gina's um, products, is having a 15% off site-wide sale through August 2nd. So I will um, link that below. And then there are some other crafty sales going on, which I will have on my um, sales page on my blog, which I will also link below if you're watching on YouTube. Um, just, you know, try to pick up those things. One of the things um, that I know a lot of people have... Um, you know, looked for or maybe have avoided buying because of um, the price point is the Misty, which is the, a lot of people will send me a message and say, what is this clear folder thing you use to stamp with? That is a Misty. And um, they are a little pricey, but I personally think that they are well worth the money. But if you can get one on sale, like by all means, you do you. Oh, I'd be so happy for you. Um, and then just you know, it's site-wide, so whatever you need, like even if it's just perishables, um, you know, paper and ink, glue, things like that, like um, those are when I always go pick those things up. Um, speaking of, I do need some more Nina and black cardstock because I've been running out of that since quarantine started. Um, so here for this one, I am, I'm using Gina K Amalgam ink. This is one of my favorite inks for Copa coloring because it is safe with alcohol inks um, and I'm just going to stamp these down. Now the laurels, um, I'm going to overlap them because now you know you know I love a good mask scene but I don't need to mask them because I'm actually going to cover it up with some stamped images so I'm not stressing about that. If you wanted to um, stamp them so that one wasn't um, stamped directly over the other you would just mask that small portion of it. I just didn't feel like it was worth it. I'll be honest with y'all, sometimes I try to break out of the box and do something a little different and then I don't always love it at the end of it and I wonder if it would have looked better if I would have done it the way I wanted to the first time when I wasn't pushing myself creatively, right? So you tell me what you think. Here I ended up going with the mustard seed um, for my ink blending. Now normally I would reach for Salty Ocean. You know me, you've been to my channel, you know this. I would have reached for Salty Ocean 110%. But because I was going to be doing some pine trees and some mountains, I thought that the yellow would look kind of like the sun. Um, and then I have a real problem with my cards being matchy-matchy, especially if I'm going to be taking pictures of them together. <laughs> um, and so I decided to go ahead and stay with the yellow for the second one, and then I would just make my flowers purple, which is its complementary color. Speaking of purple, can we talk about this nail polish? Like, is this not such a good color for summer? I mean, I just love it. I don't even really like purple, y'all. Um but it's a color pop um, nail polish and I'm I have had it for a long time and every summer I always reach for it anyway this is really a very squirrel video um, we've already covered so many topics um, so here I would normally do my uh, perfect pearl spattered in the background um, I am going to do a little bit of clean water then I'm also going to do a little bit of the mustard seed and then last but not least, because I love a little shimmer, a little shine, um, I'm actually going to use my gold perfect pearls because I felt like that um, matched better. It would be, a, it would look better with the, the mustard seed. And also I wonder if it would have looked, the yellow would have looked better if I would have gone scattered straw because it's not as bright. Um, but it, it is what it is. The cards are done at this juncture. So that is what we're doing here. And then I am going to... Um, just stamp out my images and um, I have a little trick for some solid images if you want to use them um, along with your outline stamps and then pretty much just like story time. I mean that's basically what we got, what we're working with here. Um, I will say, and you guys know because we have had this conversation recently that I was struggling to do voiceovers and to do videos, um, I know that part of it is because I am now on night shift. And that is something that is um, 
it, it I didn't realize it would be uh, such a struggle for me because I do try not to card make when Peanut is awake so I don't take time away from him. Um, oh, we're going to talk about the card. Um, so here, these little pine trees, which are totally adorable and I love, um, and I know they're baby sets, but really these can be used for anything. Um, I'm going to stamp them down in green. Now, I don't own them, um, but if you have the Gina K inks, um, either grass green or jelly bean, um, both of those would work fine. Otherwise, just use a light green that you have because we're going to add the detail in with the coloring. Um, so, or if you don't, they're totally cute, just stamped plain. So if you don't want to do any sort of coloring on top of them, you certainly would not have to. They would look just fine. So I'm just going to go through and stamp out a couple of these so that I can put them behind my mountain range. Um, and then I'm also going to stamp out, these are the flowers from um, the baby girl set, which are so pretty. They're super cute little flowers. Uh, I'm going to stamp out a bunch of those. And then I wanted, so the laurels are the leaves that are in that set, but I wanted some actual leaves. Um, so I did end up going through my Gina K sets that I already owned and I found this You Anchor Me, which is also another beautiful set. I did a watercolor video with this one. I should link that too, just in case you haven't seen it. Very pretty. Um, but they had these two little leaves in there and so I just pulled those out of that set so that I could use them to tuck behind my flowers. Um, so I try not to card make when Peanut is awake so I'm not taking away any time from him. But now the sun is not going down <laughs> until like 9 o'clock. And so I'm getting him into bed later than I normally would. This is my trick, by the way, for the outline stamps. I'm just going to make it an outline stamp. I'm going to take a um, alcohol safe. For me, it's the EK Success uh, writing um, pen or journaling pens until they are dead and gone and buried. Uh, they have been discontinued. I do have a couple of packs left, so I will keep using them. But then eventually I will switch back to the Micron or the Copic multi-liners. That's what I used before I found the journaling pens. Um, but I just outlined them so that way everything was matchy-matchy when I cut it out. Um, but then also I am trying to you know, see Eric because I love him and I like to see him. Um, so on the nights that I'm off, I'm not getting Peanut into bed until, you know, 9.30. It's summer. Um, so then by the time I get him into bed settled and um, feed the dogs, you know, do pick up, you know, any toys or whatever that are left over in the house, um, we're already looking at 10 o'clock and Eric gets home uh, at about... 11 30 um so I really only have an hour and a half to myself which honestly is sometimes I spend card making and sometimes I don't and so it's been a real challenge for me to kind of find my groove on night shift I'm hoping this gets easier as it goes on as this is still relatively new to us um but the I managed to get this month I managed to get one video out a week and I'm going to be honest with you that may be able that may be the best that I can do um so I'm going to keep trying, keep, keep going. So as far as story times goes, we had our engagement photos. Isn't that lovely? It was so lovely. Um, so we were originally supposed to get married in June and our engagement photos were supposed to be done at like the beginning of April. But obviously, Rona 2020, uh, everything got rescheduled. So um, we knew we weren't going to be able to use them for like save the dates or anything like that. But they were included in our package. And so since we've already paid for them we were like well we're still gonna get our photos um and the game plan was always to take peanut with us um because obviously we are a blended family and um, wanted to include him in those so it was kind of like half engagement photos half family photos so let's talk about family photos right <laughs> if you have small children you know what i'm gonna say um family photo day is like the nightmare of nightmares for mother because you want these beautiful photos of your family you do you want them you want to display them in your house but coordinating everybody into family photos is almost always a just a nightmare so mine actually was not that bad um i did have to so i told peanut like you know, can we look at some of your, your nicer clothes, you know, so we're not wearing like a, um, 
you know, ratty old t-shirt with holes in it that's backwards that have letters peeling off for these pictures. And so he picks a um, solid blue polo because blue's my boyfriend. I'm down for this. I'm like, okay, that's good. Like, and I had gone back and forth about whether or not like I wanted to wear a dress or, um, you know, how formal I wanted them to be. And ultimately I decided that I still wanted, like I wanted us to look nice, but I still wanted our photos to look like us. And we're not those people. Um, we're just, and it's totally okay if you are like, it's, that's, I worked with a guy for years who like his mom would never let him go to school unless he was in a collared shirt. And so consequently as an adult, like that's where, what he's most comfortable in, um, which no, no shame in the game, like whatever you're comfortable in, but I'm comfortable in, you know, like just a nice top and a pair of jeans. Um, so he went with the solid blue top and Eric was going to be wearing, um, like a, it's like a really small plaid, little tiny, tiny plaid. It was like white with blue and green plaid. And so I was like, okay, then I am going to, um, or, well, that and, and a solid polo because I wasn't going to make him wear the button down for the whole thing. And so I figured, well, I would go for the ones where it was going to be family photos. I would go with a, um, it was just like a blue and white striped um, button down. So I come upstairs, do all the things, get ready, self-tanner, <laughs> self-tanner for days, um, do my hair, everything else. I come downstairs and Peanut has on a blue and white checked button down. And I'm like, child, you have changed your items. And he said, yeah, I decided I want to wear this instead. Okay. So now my stripe and his check were not going to work. So now I come back upstairs and now I find a solid colored shirt. And then I had brought a different, like, because I was going to do one outfit, like, more, I guess, formal for our engagement photos and one more casual for our family photos. So Eric wears out there his button-down, like, nice, what you know, dressier shoes. I have on, like, just, like, a blue um, top, and I wear my flip-flops out there and brought, like, little cork sandals with me. And... Um, with a, a game plan of changing because remember I've done this before I've done this once before this is uh, so I was like you know we should have we're going to meet him at the studio and then we'll go to wherever we're going to take pictures and we should be able to like swap out shoes and stuff uh, along the way so we take the GPS and because Eric loves me and he's wonderful um, I have anxiety driving on the highway oh, I have anxiety driving anywhere let's be real I have anxiety on the, driving on the highway so he takes the back roads which is like this loopy swoopy hills curves crazy to get out there the GPS takes us to the back of this like shopping plaza and there's no like some of the doors are marked with what the businesses are but there's nothing that says where this photography business is so I called the photographer and I was like, hey, we're here, but we cannot find where you are located. Is there a sign like on the door? We're in the back of the building. And he was like, no, but the address is on the front of the building. So we drive up and around. I tell the photographer, this is the intersection that we're at. And I was like, can you get me back to where, you know, I need to be? And he was like, well, where are you? Where are you? And so I was like, oh, never. I'm like, just make a right. Like we came, we made a right onto this street, like common sense would say if we make a right we're going to go back the direction we just came so we end up um we are drive down the front of it i don't see the address whatsoever and it's a like it's a big um business area where they have all like these little shops and strips and you can walk the street and they have bunches and it's very nice um so eventually we end up around the back of the building where we meet the photographer and we end up walking in the back of the building but i just go in flip-flops you know shirt whatever as i am thinking we're going to have a discussion about where we're going to go and then we're going to drive to wherever the area is this is not what happens y'all this is not what occurs um so we get in there and he was like okay you ready and like i have my purse with me and i was like I, what i thought what what and he was like oh you can just leave it here so i'm like okay um and i just like I told Eric, I was like, I'm just going to like be grateful we're going to have family photos. That's what I'm going to concentrate on because this is not at all, like I'm super frustrated at this point. I'm like, this is just not, this is not going. Nathan's being a gem, by the way. He's totally, he, that's not sarcasm. He really was being very good. So we go out into like the shopping plaza area and we're like taking, I don't, they're strange. It was strange. Like we're like taking photos where um, like, by like these building, I don't even know how to describe it, like the metal building posts 
and then like in front of some shops and I feel like all of the pictures are like the same pose then um as like we're walking down there was like this little alleyway with like some steps but there's like it's like a trash alley y'all like there's broken glass all over the place there's garbage um and I'm like what are these pictures <laughs> what are these pictures even gonna look like no meanwhile total mom mode like don't touch anything don't sit down don't like to, you you stand there and don't breathe on anything just don't let it near you um and then there was some um like he walked us into like this back of this building where there was like this old rusted out like staircase and um like one of the rungs on the staircase was broken like the photographer was like oh that step's broken like don't step there and then we had to like climb around some rocks with like broken glass to even get to the staircase and i was like this is crazy y'all what is happening here but it's also right like on a river. So those pictures honestly are the ones that I love the most, like the outdoorsy woodsy one. And um, at the time I was just trying to like kind of go with the flow because you know, you sometimes you just know when you're, you're in a mood. Um, and like I didn't want that to be reflective of our picture. So I just decided to embrace it. Side note back to the card. So I've trimmed out all of my pieces. I fussy cut them out. And now I'm just going back um, with a black uh, water-based marker. Don't use an alcohol-based one. It'll leak into your images. Um, I could not find my new, I have two. Um, this one, which is old and busted up. This is my Memento Tuxedo Black Marker. Um, and I do have a new one, but I couldn't find it. So guess what? The old busted up one still works. And that's why I haven't thrown it out yet. Um, but so we end up... Um, Eric's like do you want to change clothes and I was like at this point honestly like I don't I'm fine with it I don't I'm over it I'm over the the, the change of clothes so he did change into his polo um, because it was hot and it was way more comfortable um, so he's really the only one who had like a you know fashion show uh, change up in the middle of the pictures um, and then we did go down by the river we had to like cross across some rocks um, there was one that was like kind of swoopy that I was a little bit nervous about falling. Now, meanwhile, we're trying to do all of this while navigating a seven-year-old as well to get to the locations that we're in. Um, they, but we got them back yesterday. And uh, even though we took like pictures in trash alleys, um, they really did come out very beautiful. And I love them. And I'm so grateful that we have pictures together uh as a as a family because like you know you have your random ones that you take here and there but when you're doing things as a family especially now because of everything going on with corona um you're the ones taking the picture so somebody's missing it's a selfie like it was just it's nice to have nice photos of our family so i'm grateful for that um so that was my experience with the engagement photos um, I will put one or two of them up over on the blog um, if you guys are interested in seeing them. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen them because I've shared a couple there. Um, but so when I was a kid, like I, my parents had three daughters and my poor mother was trying to, um, this is a funny story. <laughs> this one was a little bit more drama filled than my, uh, and which is probably similar to a lot of parents um, situations. So this was back in the 80s and my mom was trying to coordinate everybody's outfits. But don't judge her because it was the 80s. But she decided that she was going to have everybody wearing these like light pink and red velour velvet looking vests or dresses or pants or I don't even know how she picked this combination. I really don't. I truly do not. And I was just a baby baby. Um, so <laughs> I clearly did not have any say. Um, but this is what she's picked and this is what the family is wearing and they're going for family photos. Like we're all going for family photos and I'm a baby baby. Kimberly's about three and Michelle is nine or 10 at that point. Um, and so they raised three daughters and all of us are opinionated and all of us, you know, want to have our say and we're stubborn and you know, that's what happens when you get children that have your own traits. Um, so there, you know, my mom lays out everybody's clothes. She's getting everybody dressed. And my oldest sister, Michelle, comes downstairs in 
I think it was yellow and green plaid pants and like a yellow button down shirt. I want to wear this. And my mom's like, that's nice for you, but you're not wearing that. You're wearing this. And like a whole just fight ensues about the whole thing, um, which, you know, we talked about years later and kind of laugh about. Um, but it's just so funny that like you see all these pictures of people's families and every time I wonder, like, were they trying to just stab each other's eyeballs out five minutes before this photo was being taken? Like, were they giving, like, the whole mom glare of just do what you're told so we don't make a scene? Because I'd be willing to bet probably about 75% of them are. Because it is so hard. <laughs> it is so hard to just get your kids to do what you want them to do. Peanut was a total champ, though. He really was very good about it. Um, he complained on the way out there that it was taking too long to get there. Um, you know, your typical, whatever, kid stuff, but it wasn't anything that was too terrible, and he was really good about um, taking the photos. He There was no breakdowns or, you know, no red face, uh, you know, red eye photos where you can tell somebody was just crying. So I am grateful that they came out so good. And um, I'm just really very excited to um, get some pictures up on our wall. Eric keeps telling me we look um, like we don't live here because we haven't really hung any pictures up. Like we do have pictures on our mantle and stuff, but it's hard for me to, um, until I know like what the layout's going to be because we still have furniture we need to buy and, and things like that. Um, it's hard for me to visualize the 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 wall hangings or the wall decor without the rest of the room kind of being put together. Maybe that's just me. I'm not really sure. Um, but I did order uh, a multi-pack of frames <laughs> already. I ordered them actually before we got our pictures back because I would like to do a um, like photo collage wall. Um, I just think they're super pretty and it's a great kind of focal point in the front room. Um, we don't really have um, anything in there yet. Like, I mean, we have like a ottoman and a armchair that came from Eric's apartment and like my bookshelves, um, cause we both came with a ton of books, but that's pretty much all that we got going on in there. And now those two, uh, new painted end tables, um, that are just basically like chilling. Nathan keeps moving them around the room to areas that he thinks that they should be at because there's no other furniture in there. Um, but yeah, so this, um, these are the two cards. Um, like I said, I don't necessarily love the yellow on the floral one, um, but decisions were made and I'm sticking with it. And now I have a cute little baby card that I can send um, when one of my friends um, or family members uh, ends up welcoming a new member of their family. So I'm going to put the glitters on them and then that's pretty much it. That's the, um, well, was it pretty much it? I forgot about this. So because of the... <clears throat> the bulk of the um, sentiment where it says enjoy your new little adventure um, I just felt like the sides of it were kind of empty and so I did end up using and I'm not even sure if they sell these anymore um, these are the stay gold sequins from Simon Says Stamp and they don't they're almost like confettis they don't have a hole they're called sequins but they don't have a hole in the center uh, but you could use any like if you have gold sequins or you know you could use black um, obviously that's always a good neutral um, but that's it that's the whole card so um, head over and check out those sales head over and check out Gina's website her stamps are always beautiful and wonderful um, and that's it thank you guys so much for joining me I'll catch you on the next video bye